Jesus freak here. And I'm going to deal with a limitation of 21st century English here. And this leads to some serious troubles with, for example, I'm just using this edition and this translation to prove what the problem is. And I can just show you, say, the back matter here, and you can see that they're pushing the idea of this verse. And I'm, I mean, everyone knows this verse, you know. I'm, oh, the NIV 11 reading here, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And a lot of people will say, hey, you know, they'll read it and say, hey, oh, he's talking to me! Because we don't have this distinction between you individually and you collectively in modern English. We were already losing this by 1600. As can be evidenced by reading uh, the works of William Shakespeare. where the singular had basically been degraded to an insult. I'm going to read the same verse out of a KJV, whereas we know if they're talking about a singular, they're going to say thou or thee. So when we're reading Jacobethan English, We, uh, we know when it's singular or plural. And this translation reads, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Wait a second, it still says you! But I thought when the King James was referring to individuals, it said thee. Yep. It ain't talking about one person here. And anyone who's going to interpret it in that sense is completely misreading it. You know, people in other languages, you know, people who speak other languages don't have this problem because there's no ambiguity. I could go to this Spanish Bible, this is an NDLA, and it says here, es porque yo sé los planes que tengo para ustedes, declara el Señor, planes de bienestar y no de calamidad, para darles un futuro y una esperanza. Here it is, because I know the plans that I have for you in the plural. Same as the King James. Anyone who's understanding you in the singular, I mean, I, I'm sure that out of the context, there's no way you could possibly misunderstand it. But a lot of people take verses out of context, and that too is a problem. But this is a limitation of our language. One particular verse I like comes, by the way, really close to this in the text. And that is the verses right after it. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your hearts, and I will be found of you, saith the Lord.
Jesus freak out. 